There's Obi and Chloe, and I'm Scott, and it is windy again. Um, that sign says it's as far as I go. It's the end of state land. I'm at a different spot today. Um, kind of one of the better kept secrets. I hope you can hear me well. I am um, actually do, I just ordered a new mic because of the quality of this one. It's not very good because I bought it really cheap to use it at school. So now that I'm doing more of this, thanks to a, a viewer who wanted to be able to hear what I say during these videos, um, which is awesome. Offered to help me buy a better one, so I've got one ordered. Um, I'm gonna share with you where I'm at quick um, after I show you a couple of wildflowers. This one is Dutchman's Breeches, which I may have shown before. That beautiful flower, wildflower that is very white um, in color, but literally looks like a little pair of pants. So you can see it, I don't know if that in great, but the sun is very bright right now. And then another one that I do not know the name of. And I want to help identifying if I can find one in here. There's a beautiful purple one that I wanted to show you. But first I'll explain where I'm at. So I am along the Bear Creek, um, or along Bear Creek, which is up kind of by Dorchester, Iowa, and not far from, um, either not, not really that far from Decorah, either, or Baroque, that kind of triangulates where I'm at. Oh, I'm not going to find it now. I just saw a whole bunch. Um, but, let me explain, I'm being buzzed by a couple of mature bald eagles. They have apparently a nest here, but I haven't even seen it. But they're a little bit upset with my vicinity. So again, I'm at, along the Bear Creek, um, I'll show you the valley here. Bloodroot plant, it's a cool leaf and a um, cool plant. No apples coming up. This one, I don't know the name of either, so anybody that does is welcome to tell me. I'd be happy to see it in the comments or learn it. Again, I'll show you the view here quick of what is Bear Creek down here. That's Bear Creek Valley. It actually winds all the way around this hill. You can hear the eagles and the crow. There's the eagle. And there's the other one. Maybe they're mad at the crow. I'm not really sure. But they must have a nest right out in front of me here somewhere. But I haven't even been able to see it. I wanted to finish sharing this. So I'm at the, this public land called Camp Tehigua or it used to be Camp Tahigua. It's now called Tahigua Wildlife Management Area. Again, um, was part of a, a camp that I believe, and you please correct me or give me the right information, was a Girl Scout camp, or mostly Girl Scout camp, where they had horses. And now it's just been abandoned and bought by the state or taken over by the state gorgeous piece of land these were some of the spots where they camped um, out here this was one of the farthest camps the little valley where the um, shelter house or the camp house the lodge is right down there and beautiful trail though or trails that still exist out here. Those eagles are majestic, very, at the moment. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about secrets because they're kind of interesting. 
this place is kind of kept secret. Not many people know about it. Um, so relate that back quick to what we're going through with this pandemic and the idea that somehow our government's keeping secrets from us, which I don't agree with at all. I think that the government in the United States, for one, is incapable of keeping secrets well, and for two, would have absolutely nothing to gain. But I think at times that the opposite is true. People just create these conspiracy theories, like the idea that somehow our government is pretending that this is a crisis for someone's gain. That makes no sense. No one is gaining from this at all. Either political party, both of them have something to lose currently if they don't do a better job of dealing with this. Uh, here's a plant that most everybody knows that grows wild all over the hills here. Strawberry. Wild strawberry. They don't have flowers right now. They usually flower a little later. And I guess getting back to the idea of secrets, I just think it's important to realize that like I said, no one has anything to gain right now by keeping secrets about this pandemic or where it came from or somehow it's some kind of plot by a different country. It makes no sense whatsoever. All countries have been affected by this at this point and all of them very negatively, including China. So I find that just preposterous. So please, if you can get out, get out, enjoy natural world maybe spend less time worrying about somebody else trying to control your life and take a control of your own would be I guess my suggestion not a not a have to but just a suggestion here's the flower I was looking for yeah, so if anybody can identify this for me please do sorry about the wind I'm sure I could look it up but since I have some great viewers this now I'd be happy if you could identify that it's a beautiful little flower and plant it grows all over it's kind of a unique looking plant all right as I've been saying stay uh, socially distant but not socially isolated Here's another look at oasis he spends a lot more time near me than Nobody does. He has a tendency to run around on his own. I'm going to keep hiking on here. I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.